Hello everybody and welcome to another product review video. Uh, this is going to be the first of these shorter series of product reviews I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully you'll see more of these over the coming months. I'll try to slot these in where I can for cool stuff I like. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Exemplar Wet Palette. Uh, my favorite wet palette. So let's head over to the desk and take a look. Uh, the strict technomancer that is Vinci V. Let us get to the technique and learn it Vinci V. So here we are. We've got the Exemplar Wet Palette. Uh, it's uh, a really nice construction. So overall, I'll just tell you straight up front, I quite like this wet palette a lot. I think it's one of the better investments you can make. If you're going to get a wet palette, it's one I would say to pick up. But let's talk features and benefits and stuff like that. Uh, the wet palette itself is quite sturdy. It's well made. You can completely lock the thing so it can pick up without issue. Probably need to actually close it and lock it. There we go. Ta-da, and you can move the whole thing. I don't know how much cause there would ever be to actually do that, but you can do it just in case you would need to. Uh, the wet palette itself really does lock. It has this little guy on top, wherein you can, it has a little dry palette. You can put brushes and stuff in there, which is actually rather handy. That is a nice way to transport stuff. So I've used that many times. Uh, this also does pop out, by the way, so you can actually transport more stuff or use your dry palette somewhere else you would want to. Um, there's even a little spot here where you can put your cell phone. Again, I've not a feature I've used very often, but you can rest your cell phone right there. So, hey, fun stuff. Uh, what I like is it has this little uh, situation up here that you can control how much airflow is getting in and out, so you can control the humidity. There is a little... Uh, thing you can pop in there to close it off completely if you want or have one open or as I do have both open uh, I'm in a very dry environment and so I need to make sure that it actually stays hydrated and doesn't get overly humid inside there the wet palette itself the paper is really nice I like the way it hydrates the paint uh, the nature of the sponges is such that you can actually double stack uh, the sponges. So for example, I have two sponges in here right now. Uh, so you can see, there we go. Uh, and the reason for that is because, again, my environment is very dry. And so as a result, I have two sponges and a lot more standing water inside. If you only have one sponge, it sits lower in there, and then you don't have to have as much water, creating less humid of an environment when you actually close the pallet. Uh, and making it so you have to sort of refill the water less. I have to refill the water quite a bit. So the palette itself is good. It's durable. It's quality. I like the paper. That actually matters quite a bit to me. Um, there's nothing wrong with Reynolds uh, sort of paper and using non-wax paper for it, but this actually hydrates really well. It seems to let out more or less exactly the right amount of, of liquid up into the paint. Um, the Exemplar wet palette is basically $35.00. Uh, to order it from Game Envy directly, which I think is a pretty reasonable cost uh, for the quality of the product. The refill packs, which come with uh, additional new sponges and uh, 50 sheets of the paper, are 12 bucks. So again, nothing that's going to break the bank there too bad. Now, do you need this wet palette? No, of course not. It's not going to change your life in any significant way. It is still a wet palette and does the same thing as... Uh, you know, most other wet palettes on the market. That is to say, if you've got your Masterson and you like it, or you made something out of, uh, you know, sponges and some Ziploc containers, hey, no problem. It's not like there's something here that is so revolutionary. It's just completely changing the way you paint. But if you are in the market for a good, durable, quality wet palette made of good materials that will last you, um, that has nice features, uh, this is it. I mean, I, once I got the exemplar, I honestly haven't used anything else and have no desire to use anything else. Um, this is more or less everything I want. It sits there. My paint will stay workable. Uh, and again, it depends on the you know individual paint. Some are more hydrophilic than others, and so we'll kind of get worthless. But my paint stays workable certainly all day. You know, I'll be sitting here painting for 10, 12, 16, 18 hours, and I, my paint stays completely workable where I'd want it, even in a very dry environment. So good paper, uh, good. I, I One thing about the sponges is they are antimicrobial, so I've never had any problem with mold. And if there's anything that would make you upgrade to a nicer wet palette over something like a traditional Masterson, it's the quality of the sponge here. The sponges are really nice. 
never had any problem with in any way it's smelling funky or anything growing in there or anything gross like that. Uh, it just works and keeps all the bad stuff out, which I very much appreciate because I don't want a stinky wet palette. Uh, nobody does. Uh, so there you go. That's the exemplar. All in all, pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, 35 bucks for the wet palette. I'll include the link down below. This isn't sponsored or anything. This is just my palette that I own. Um, so, you know, they didn't give it to me for free or anything like that. Uh, I have used this more hours than I can count over the past many months, uh, and I think it's a worthwhile purchase. So if you're looking for a new wet palette, hey, check it out. There you go. So there you go. That's the wet palette. Overall, uh, I give it a solid A rating. Totally worth a buy uh, if you're looking for a new wet palette. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, as always, don't forget to hit like. Subscribe for additional videos. We have new hobby cheatings here every Saturday. Uh, product reviews will be intermittent as they can. Uh, there's a Patreon down below if you want to support the channel uh, and take your next step on your hobby journey. Uh, but as always, I thank you for watching this one, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>